us Finns are always happy if anything about Finland is mentioned. And today we are looking at connections to Finland in Star Wars. There is actually a surprising amount of things. We are going to start with the one that is probably most well known. Peter Mayhew is the original Chewbacca actor, but in the newer films, starting from The Force Awakens, a Finnish guy named Jonas Suotamo has also been in the Chewie suit. Mayhew did parts of The Force Awakens, but everything else after that has been Jonas. Jonas Suotamo used to be a professional basketball player. He was also interested in acting, but he never pursued it because there weren't really roles for people as tall as him. He is very tall. And how he got the role of Chewie was that the head coach of the Finnish national basketball team was asked if he knew any 210cm tall blue-eyed basketball players that could be a good fit for a possible film role. Jonas Suotamo turned out to be a great fit for the role. It's always fun hearing people trying to pronounce his name Jonas Suotamo but it's a very understandable Finnish is not going to be very easy. Next up we have something that kind of relates to last week's video where I mentioned that the way Mandalorians were portrayed in the Clone Wars was inspired by Nordic culture. You might or might not know that Satin is from a planet called Kalevala. It's a planet in the Mandalore system and it's mentioned twice in the Clone Wars. First in the opening of Voyage of Temptation. The Duchess Satine of Kalbala. And then it's mentioned by Palpatine in Duchess of Mandalore. In a Death Watch bombing on Kalevala. So, okay, where is the connection to Finland? Kalevala is not just the name of a planet in Star Wars, it's also the name of the national epic of Finland. It's basically Finnish folklore that was passed down from generation to generation by people telling the stories and actually singing them as well, I think. During the 19th century, a guy named Elias Lundrut wrote down the stories and compiled them into a finished work. The story of Kalevala is actually kind of interesting. We have things like Väinämöinen, Sampo, Lemminkäinen, Louhi, Ukko, and Kalevala itself is the place where the things happen. Something else that Kalevala is known for is jewelry. There is a company called Kalevala that was recently merged with another jewelry company called Laponia. In the award ceremony in A New Hope, Leia is actually wearing a Laponia necklace and bracelet. The pieces are designed by Björn Beckström and he was contacted by George Lucas to design a necklace for his space adventure film. He started designing something but then he was informed that the schedule has changed and the necklace needs to be ready in a week. That wasn't going to happen so instead they used some existing Laponia pieces, a necklace called Planetoid Valleys and a bracelet called Tarina's Bracelet. After Björn Wekström had been informed that fitting pieces had been found, he was never contacted by the production team again. He only found out which movie his stuff had been used in when one of his friends went to see Star Wars and recognized the necklace. Björn Wekström then later went back to the initial sketches he had done for Star Wars but didn't have time to finish and he made this necklace. And actually, this cross that I'm always carrying is also a Laponia piece designed by Björn Wekström, which you have to admit. It's kind of cool. And now we are going back in time to the Second World War, specifically to the Winter War, which is when the Soviet Union invaded Finland. Or at least they tried to. In the continuation war after the Winter War, Finland was allied to Germany, but during the Winter War they were pretty much on their own. Some countries did send some help. For example, Great Britain sent the incredible amount of about 30 volunteers. Among these men was an 18-year-old Christopher Lee, Count Dooku himself, the man with the signature look of superiority. These volunteers were put on patrol duty and didn't see any actual combat, but this is what Christopher Lee had to say about the experience. We assumed we would enjoy a great adventure, but oh dear, how hard it was here. They went back to Britain after only two weeks, but later in his life Christopher Lee visited Finland many times. And to a Finnish newspaper he said that Finland is the world's best country. Which, I mean, sure, if you say so. Then we are moving on to a video game. I did briefly mention this in another video because I wasn't expecting to make a video like this one, but the game in question is Masters of Teraskasi, which is a fighting game released on PlayStation in 1997. Teraskasi itself is a martial art specifically made to combat Jedi. 
It is best known for this game, but it was first mentioned in Shadows of the Empire. And the connection to Finland here is that Teraskasi means steel hand in Finnish. The martial art of Teraskasi is now canonized, most notably in Solo, when they are on Kessel and Kira beats the gonk out of the pike. What was that? <laughs> Teraskasi. And apparently there is a Teraskasi move called Frederi, which is Swedish and means treachery, which I find to be kind of funny. There are a couple more connections between Finland and Star Wars, and they have to do with language, but I already covered it in this video about real languages in Star Wars, so you'll have to go and watch that one if you want to find out more. 